What's up, people? I'm Bilal, back with episode three of Starfield. In the last episode, we um, flew to the moon called Crete to uh, check out what the deal was with the pirates. Turns out they wanted our ship and they had uh, the idea that there was some loot on the ship that they needed. Uh, I was able to convince their leader, Brogan, that uh, they don't really need our ship. So this conflict, I mean, these guys over here would have probably attacked us. Uh, however, we found a, a relatively peaceful resolution to this problem. And uh, although the prompt is saying fast travel back to your ship, I'm going to explore this okay, area a little bit. We get Sorry, bro. Don't have much loot that you could use. Um, so we saw the first example of how uh, different outcomes could be achieved based on dialogue options in Starfield. Um, I was a little bit disappointed that there are a bunch of loading screens when you, you know, fast travel or the fact that you can't just approach a planet and land on it. Uh, but that's okay, I guess um, the game is pretty vast and you can't have everything. But we're keeping it audio only again in this episode. Uh, I'll be back with uh, the audio video episodes as soon as I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, let's just scan this area for now and see what we find. Brother Brogan, can I scan Brogan? Don't come back. I know, bro. Then. <laughs> um. Yeah, not much to be found here, I guess. What's in this tent? You could have tried, bro. Is there an entrance to this thing? Nope. Alright, seems like there's not much else to do here. We learned lockpicking as well, or digi pick usage. It's an interesting mini game. Um Alright, like I don't think there's much else to do here, so let's just Open the scanner and go to look for the map icon of your ship and press E over it. Oh, this one right here. Fast travel. Oh, that's how you fast travel. That's pretty immersive, I guess. You don't have to go to the map. Uh, fast travel to the selective location. Captain. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Alright, and so we could take off or we could directly fast travel from here by going to the map. Um, that would be up here, just my map, zoom out. This is probably not the Alpha Centauri system. This is the Narian system. Grab jump to Jemison. Um, let's look at the missions. <clears throat> it's the same thing, one small step. All right, Alpha Centauri, the cl uh, star closest to our sun. Um, Select missions in the bottom section. Okay. Press R to automatically plot a course to your next objective. Let's do that. There we go. And we can jump. Jump range 16 light years. Distance 15.986 light years. Fuel consumption. So that's what I was wondering. Like if we're going to do these faster than light jumps, it's going to take up a little bit more than half of our fuel. Let's do it. So I guess I could have done that after taking off of this planet, uh, this moon. Whoa! No contraband. Starship answer. Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Aye aye. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Good. What do we have here? Friendlies? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Are there... Okay, let me take a look at the map here of this star uh, system. You have Jemison and Kurtz. 
We zoom out, we have some other planets. There's a ship here. The Eye. Olivas. Gargarin. That's interesting because the Alpha Centauri system, as far as I remember, is a dual star or even a three star system. Um, but I guess we're not going for total realism here. Bondar. Arbeam. Alright. Uh, we're gonna go land at New Atlantis, which would be right here. Let's go to it. Do that. I don't know. Um, is there no way to like land using just this rather than like going to the map and say land? Kind of weird. All right, land at New Atlantis. Select landing target. All right, if I do that, I could land at other outposts as well. 0.91 G, temperate climate seems pretty standard O2. That's a uh, okay. It's been probably terraformed to become. But I guess I do have to go to the map and then select and then land. Alright. I'm preparing for some traders and also some frame drops maybe because this place might have a lot uh, more. Uh, it would be graphically more intense. to the ship services technician. to the scientist by the tree. Okay. Getting some side quests. Or activities. Is that called? Storage. Keep your eyes open and watch your step, okay? Secure access. Come down here, I guess. It requires an ID card. We don't even have an ID card yet. Yeah. Authority kiosk. Oh, it's time to sell shit. Alright, pirate charger spacesuit is what I can actually sell. This is the one we grabbed last time, which is like a slightly better version. It's got the same physical energy and electromagnetic characteristics, but it has like three abilities fall damage, reduction, and reflecting attacks. So I guess this one is. It's got better thermal and corrosive, but. Helmets. Yeah, I don't I don't really like this helmet, so so that. Carol. Oh, 
I'll keep these for now. Um, I had a bunch of miscellaneous shit that I can sell, probably. And these are all, like, junk items, I would say. Digi-frame. Boat pyramid sculpture. It's just 35? I thought it was a lot more. What? Sell from ship inventory. Oh, okay. So our ship's inventory is separate from... So we can store stuff from... Our uh, own self into the ship's inventory. It's interesting. Sell like stupid items here. Maybe there are vendors that pay more for certain things. I don't know. Adaptive frame. These are all crafting components, so I guess resources will be for crafting, aid. We have a bunch of like food and stuff that's not really good for anything. Um, we do have 6,000 credits, so putting that in first. Oh yeah, we got... Yeah, we don't need that many credits at the moment. I don't know what the pricing of, you know, new weapons and stuff is. This was a weapon, this was another weapon. This is a pistol. I should equip this because I have the pistol skill. Cutter, I'm keeping. Modified Maelstrom is. Um, what is this heart? Oh, it's the favorite, I think. Yeah. Um, this has better accuracy and one mod. The Compensator, so it's probably like a silent version. And I have three rescue axes. Axes? Axes? Um, yeah. Alright, that's good enough for that. Let's go into my inventory and assign the weapons. Assign modified maelstrom here. Uh, Grendel, no, Prokin. Assign that to the four. Three damage, three damage. This is a rifle, this is a pistol, this is another rifle. So, 50 mag, fire rate 170, accuracy 66.2. This I want to equip, 6.6, .6, and then this is worse than that. Alright, I'll keep this weapon in my inventory, but I might sell it later. Hello, Mr. Technician. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Okay. Mod you and modify my ships. Let me see what ships you have for sale. Would you sell, like, say, sell things? Yeah. What the trade that? authority runs a vending kiosk. Yeah, next that's to my where booth. I was. Okay. It's just off to the side near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. I would try to view portal. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Okay. Um, does my ship need repairs? I don't know. Modify my ship. Okay, no problem. So check this out. It's a big deal uh, about modifying and, you know, making, like, attaching things. Not just, like, modifications, but also visual changes to the ship. Like, the modifications would, like, you'd be able to see if you attach more, I don't know, fuel tanks or weapons. That's the only ship I have. Vendor credits, my credits, ship builder, upgrade ship. Oh, so these are the ship systems. Dog star. Can I rotate this? Yeah. That's the engine, that's the shield generator, and that's the grab drive. All right, let's take a look at the shield. Ship upgrade mode allows you to make improvements to your ship without needing to worry about where the module should be placed. Some upgrades may have level or skill requirements. Multiple upgrades can be made and their cost will be added up at the end of the session. Okay, so that improves it by one. What about...
Okay, so these are all of the things I have. What is the reactor? Hmm, interesting. Because these, these th the six things are represented here, the three weapons and the three uh, ship systems. And then you have the reactors. All right, let's go into engine. White dwarf engine. Weapon zero, weapon one, weapon two. Oh, I can change these to lasers as well. Interesting. Okay, I have this missile launcher. Hmm. Looks like there's a lot of things to check out. I'll probably come back to it later, considering the prices that I saw. I don't have enough credits. I'd rather grab some good gear first and uh, do some quests and get some money first. I'd like to view in my function and. What ships do you have I'm for sure sale? I'm sure you can find something you like. Ooh. Inspect. Okay. Lower on the engine. Not as good. Galileo. Okay. Respond. This one's actually better. Purchase, enter, but how much does it cost? That's the credits that we possess, but... It doesn't have a third weapon at all. It's like a hauler. Um, I don't know, purchase? You don't have enough credits, yeah, but how much does it cost? Ah, there it is. Value. 94,000. 74,000. 104,000. Well, the ships are expensive. But if I scroll over these, these are like these individual values, I guess. And then, okay, so it's a bit buggy. Like, the value of the part is shown here, but not the whole thing. Ah, oh, that's the reactor. That's the seven. So there's seven things. Three weapons, three engine systems, and then the reactor. Select system, yeah. Alright, can't buy any of those. Thank you very much. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Um, how do I check my ship's health? I think it was okay, because there was no red anywhere. Um, we just fought a couple of pirates in the last episode in space. Yeah, not too worried about it. Let's check out New Atlantis. Let's check out my frame rate. As well. Yeah, it's dropping. It's dropping bad. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, well, of course, that's sure possible. Uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Mast ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment okay. thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Okay. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of their life. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last year. I kind of smell it. But I don't smell anything here. Um, no, yes, no. And I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. 
As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state-of-the-art. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. A little unfair, don't you think? Three Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted, no questions asked. Even helped with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. Mm. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. May I help you? Thanks, I want to talk to the kid first, the Bobby Cats. I've never been in a battle before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people, you know, about serpents and stuff. Oh, are that is that the serpent religion people? Yeah, it was like, snakes and serpents will eat you all, <laughs> the stars will squeeze you, or something like that. <laughs> I think they need psychiatric help. Mm hmm. Sounds like it. Oh, I don't want to call him a little boy. When it comes to ecliptic, I know everything. It's not like it's a secret. They're mercenaries, so they work for money. And it's like, for enough money, they'll do anything. I've heard a couple of SSNN stories about them. My dad says they're horrible. Like they can pretend they're working for someone and it's official, so they do anything they want. Okay. Probably. I'm pretty brave. A kid tried to bully me once and I punched him in the head. Don't take shit from anybody, my mother says. And I don't. Anyway, I'm Good fine thing. now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. Not I hope so too, kid. Now. What is your problem? Day, what? No, year. just ugh, go away. All right. You probably don't Seems like the Crimson it. Fleet is everywhere these days, mm -hmm. spreading like a virus through the settled systems. They like to set up shop in old facilities, places abandoned in the colony war. Hey. That way, they can strike anywhere. Mm. You still want to talk? Hi. All right, you're done. Oh, guess you caught some of that, huh? Oh, the galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. Yeah, you can ruin a glass of water. Spacers, who are they? How's Varun? Yeah. Not what? Who? How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists uh -huh. who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Faction, or cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just disappeared. They're out there somewhere. Or so folks assume. You know, the ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Okay. Really? <laughs> you must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Hmm. Spacers, though, they tend to shoot first and ask questions never. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Well, still, I hold out hope. There are more good people than bad in this galaxy. It's just that the bad are... Huh, louder. 
Did you run into the coast? Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. They jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Hmm. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it. So long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet side, though, and their trigger fingers get much itchier. Yeah, had some experience with that. Who are you, Mr. Bosch? Ricardo Bosch. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting mm. their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Thanks, Mr. Another Josh. time, then. She right. can't do this to me. Oh, dude, calm down. What is your beef? She got, like, okay, she got, like, um, forcefully resigned from her post because she didn't help out the ship attack that these guys suffered. Interesting. Okay, I just remembered we did get a uh, level up in the last uh, episode, so we should go into the skills. Receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend the skill point to rank up the skill. The top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum, a minimum number of skill points in that category. Okay, so you're gonna, to reach the higher levels, you're gonna have to have a lot of skill, lower level skills in that particular field. And what are the fields? Physical, social, combat, science, and tech. Hey, it's just five, really? I was expecting like Skyrim style, like, I don't know what it was, like 12 or 15 different uh, skill trees. This came in handy last time around, and I have a challenge progress in this. So this was one of the skills that I had or the perks that one of the perks that I had. Um, yeah, so this is one challenge is completed. The other skill I have is pistol certification. I need to kill 20 enemies with a pistol. Now I do have a pistol, so that should work out eventually. Physical, stealth, fitness, boxing, weightlifting, wellness. Okay, I'm just going to look at the top tier trees right now. Uh, top, top tier, like the first tier of uh, skills. Astrodynamics, geology, medicine, research methods, survey, and tech, ballistic weapon systems, respect training, piloting is another skill I already have. Destroy five ships, that's how I get the next one. I've already destroyed three. Security, that would be lockpicking. This I can actually get because we'll be lockpicking a lot. Targeting control systems. Ah, these are the weapons. Okay, let's check out the combat. I already have this. I want to continue on with this. We have laser weapons. Lasers were good because that laser... Hmm. Shotgun, dueling, and ballistics. Scavenging. Extra credits when searching containers. Pickpocketing, nice. It's very Bethesda. Buy for 5% less and sell for 10% more. You can craft special food items. Alright. Maximum health by 10. Carrying capacity. Adds a stealth meter. Okay. 10% more oxygen, 25% more damage, 25% less oxygen when using a power attack. Oh, that's for melleeing, I guess. I'm tempted towards either commerce at the moment. This is also going to be useful. Okay. Scan and distance is increased. Okay. I think I will go for buying and selling, maybe. No. 
Okay, and these are the ranks. Okay, right. So I'll need to unlock them. It's like a German Hi. thing. Oh, hey, what's up? Gotta run soon. Late to a meeting. Uh, I need You're not agoraphobic. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Pardon me. Oi. Oi. Oh. Wow, oh, that's right now, sorry. Oi, the Don's Roost has the best food in the center oh, system. That's a lot of uh, NPC chatter. Oi. Hi there. Wow, okay. Clear of the well. Clear of the well, okay. Pad A. Active launch pad, do not proceed unless authorized. No entry for passages without a valid visa. Yeah, sure. Screening, that's where we have to go. So, first we go the other way. Pad B. That is also screening. That's the same thing. Security. Okay. Checkpoint. Hello. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. So this red icon here seems like I'm gonna steal this, so I won't do that. Yeah, it said I even like steal with E. Hidden. Detected hidden. Okay, so this is what I earned. The hidden and detected meter through my skill. Alright, let's go into arrivals. New at Lexus Transit, Hotel and Shopping, United Colonies, Security okay. and Safety. Okay, no bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. Thank you. Security office. Really? Loading screen? Fair enough. Wasn't too long, but it's kind of like... Ugh. A bit annoying that I mean a lot of other I used games to be you an don't... actuary. Now look at me. Looking at you. Um yeah, a lot of other games, you know, several years ago, released several years ago, don't have loading screens when you enter like houses within a map. This is kind of kind of comfort wear. It's to steal, right? Undetected. That's I'm hidden. I'm not gonna go around stealing too much. I don't have the, the what skill did I take again? Um, it wasn't the theft one, right? It was the stealth one. Yeah. Theft would be right here. Pickpocketing targets. Yeah, that's what I would do. Be able to do. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna be um, doing as a character, like how good guy, bad guy sort of vibe I'll have, but I'll just, I'll just see how it goes. I have a pretty neutral, non-aligned profile so far. That your ship that landed not too long ago? It sure is something. It is something. I got it for do free. Do bother me. Hello. Why are you imprisoned? Probably no visa or something. I'm really rather busy. Oh, that's Brooks again, yeah. Okay, head of security. It's 
place is really nice looking, man. Good job. Sky is a different shade of blue. I like that. Alright, so what's the objective now? Investigate the brownouts. One small step is the main one. Go to the lodge, mast district. Investigate the brownouts and talk to the scientists by the tree. Let's do that first. Scientist by the tree is right there. Far away. And yeah, the scientist was bummed out about something or freaking out or something. Else. This yeah. is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides yeah, is... free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Sure, but I don't want to go to the Mast District. I want to go... Did I not? Show all targets. Show only active targets. Still showing me the main quest and not the side quest. Delete. Right, so there should be another logo for this. Ah, it's this one. There's the tree. I wish they had different markers for main and side quests, it's kind of confusing. Although I have attempted an analysis several times, I simply cannot quantify humans addiction to caffeine. He's allowed inside, right? That's good. No sort of like robotic discrimination yeah, happening. Sure. Are you a vendor or are you... Hello. Turbo Classic Cappuccino Latte and Espresso. Let's drink a classic. Have a terrible day. <laughs> terrible day. Oh man. Alright, where is it for my inventory? It should be under aid. Turbo Classic. Restores two health, 14% O2 recovery for three minutes. Let's drink it. So we haven't had any O2 problems so far, which is Did you travel a lot as a kid? Barrett enjoys this establishment. He frequently buys chocolate here. Uh -huh. Though I have informed him repeatedly, it is likely a significant contributing factor to his being overweight. It's in here. The well, spaceport, waterfall. Uh, I think we're at the spaceport level. I hope the Put market stabilizes soon. Um, so, where's the scientist by the tree? That is the plan for the transit. I guess yeah, we have to go to, to waterfall promenade. Oh, 
Oh, my minimap changed again. Like, the O2 bar is thicker now. Struggling to find the scientist. Because this one's taking me into the elevator again. Can I deselect the um <laughs> All right, let's just head on to the main quest then. Masked Transit, Commercial District, Residential District. Okay. Fancy. Is that the scientist by the tree? He's <laughs> looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Surgeon Dumi, another side quest picked up. Hello. I'm sorry. I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes. Concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? No, I don't. Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. That's what I'm here for. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Sure. Uh, goody two shoes or... Let's do this. A mercenary, huh? Well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Yeah. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Sure. How many of them are there? 
Seems like there's several, considering the number of markers on my minimap. This is probably just to help us explore the region a little bit more. Sensor. Here we are. The lodge. It's the, the front lodge. door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Baron gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Okie dokie. Um, I want to get a couple more biosensors, I think. There's a few. One, two, three, four more. at the time yeah we're running short on time I'm trying to do around 45 to 50 minute episodes in this um, series and at this point I would call it an episode thanks so much for watching we're gonna go into the lodge straight away in the next episode and uh, like comment and subscribe and let me know how you find this audio only playthrough I will get back to the video and audio uh, as soon as I'm feeling better and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.